Hey everyone, this is Trend Crave here, and in today's video, we're going to be going through the top 5 dumbest game show answers, fails, worst moments, stupid answers, I don't know what I'm going to fucking call this video yet to be honest with you, but all I know is that I did a top 5 most embarrassing game show moments a couple weeks ago, and you guys absolutely loved it, so I figured why not do it, I couldn't think of any other better ideas anyways, so fuck it. By the way, I'm sorry if I have a little bit of a scratchy voice at some point in this video, I got a little bit of a sore throat, I get sick maybe once a year max, like I don't ever get sick. It just happens to be the day after I hit a million subs, and that's conspiracy right there, okay? YouTube's trying to fucking kill me or something. I'm not worried though, I think it'll pass pretty quick, kinda like my sub count passed a million. Yeah, speaking of that, I'm gonna talk to you guys about that towards the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned till then. And also, regarding the $425 Amazon gift cards, I'm gonna be announcing the winners for that in tomorrow's video. I might do it a bit differently, so be ready for that. And uh, if you want to be entered into that, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. Let's see, I think we got everything over with with this uh, extremely long, shitty intro. Oh wait, uh, make sure to leave a like in this video if you think you do something stupid like these people. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this top five. And in the number five spot, we've actually got two different clips that I'm going to be putting together just because they're a little bit shorter than the other ones. But this is from the TV show called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Both of these people failed really badly on the first question. These were really easy questions because it's the first question, so it's really hard to miss. And if you guys make the same mistake, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Questions away from the million, you know the rules, you know the lifeline. Yeah. Are you ready to play? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's play. Fifteen seconds on the clock. First question, five hundred dollars. When attacked by predators, which of these animals will often activate a large gland known as an ink sac? Cheetah, squid, owl, Paris Hilton. Uh, owl, C, final answer. Sorry, you knew after you said it, lovey. I'm so sorry. It was squid. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, lovey. Oh, my God. Well, please stay with us. This happens sometimes. It's very important. I'm really good. Insomniac, I guess. Okay, but so, you know where you I'm, are. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, good, good. <laughs> Well, as long as you're feeling good yeah. and you know the rules and the lifelines and you're ready to play, we're going to play. Are you right. ready? Ready. Okay, then let's play. For $100, Chase, homeowners buy surge protectors to protect their possessions from unexpected surges of what? Electric current, water flow, air pressure, buyer's remorse. <laughs> I will say B, water flow, final answer. Wait. Uh, oh, Chase, you know, it's electric current. Oh, Chase, I'm so sorry. Oh, darn. Moving on to number four, we've got a Wheel of Fortune fail, and this is actually two different fails again, except this time it's from the same guy on the same show, and he had pretty much the entire board filled out, all the words, all the letters. All he had to do was say what was on the board, and he couldn't do that because he pronounced it super fucking badly. He also had kind of another fail after that, but it wasn't nearly as bad as that one because, you know, that, that one was a bit embarrassing for him. And the funniest thing about all this is that Julian actually ended up being the winner of the show. Like, he was the one who won, uh, at least according to the description of this video that posted this. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and fact check that because I couldn't give a shit enough. You guys should know that by now. Yeah, there are two C's. Wow. Wow. Okay. Can I solve? Oh, well, that'd be a good idea, yeah. <laughs> Mythological hero Achilles. You can't accept that. Okay. Shelby. I'll solve. Yeah. Mythological hero Achilles. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, boy. Well, uh, boy, when it comes to names, uh, one of the things I think we have to just go with the name, and uh, even though the letters are up there, uh, because you have to solve it, which is what you did. You have to say it, and you said it. You get $1,000. Julia, everything just follows. Let's okay. solve. Go ahead. On the spot, dice spin. No. Uh, Shelby? On the spot, decision. Yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. Heading over to number three, this time the game that we're playing is The Price is Right, and these two contestants are in the showcase round, which is like the very end round. Uh, they just get shown a bunch of shit, they have to guess the price on it, whoever's closer, without going over wins the shit. I'm sure a fair majority of you guys have seen this on television before and understand how the whole game works and everything like that. 
Uh, but uh, you know how I said you can't go over? Well, this guy didn't really understand that, I don't think, because his guest was just plain ass stupid. It was actually so bad that the host of the show, Bob Barker, had to go ahead and ask him if he was sure about it, you know, because he, he's obviously sitting there like, is this guy fucking being the dumbass right now, or what's going on? I'm going to pass. You will pass to Jose. What's your bid, Jose, on this showcase? Everything? Everything. Everything. Give me your bid, Joe. Jose, what do you bid? I bid $250,000. $250,000? Think about that for a moment now. <laughs> Wait. Sixty thousand. Sixty thousand dollars. That's your bid. Sixty thousand dollars a day. A dollar. One dollar is your bid. The audience approves. We'll be back after this. Oh, excitement is running hot. Gay, yeah, you bid one dollar on your showcase. Actual retail price of her showcase. Twenty-eight thousand eight ninety-eight, a difference of twenty-eight thousand eight ninety-seven. Now over to Jose. Jose, you bid sixty thousand dollars on your showcase. Actual retail price of Jose's showcase twenty thousand six eighty-five. You win. Moving on to number two, we've got Family Feud, and this is another one where I'm sure pretty much all you guys know how it works. If you don't, you're either two years old or you live under a rock. But this team, they were at the very end of the show where they had two people trying to answer like five questions to get 200 points to win a lot of extra money. It's safe to say these two guys probably weren't the team's best choice to do this because their answers were not very good. They are actually pretty shit. Uh, I'm not really sure if they were just, uh, you know, being really stupid about the whole situation or if they were just super nervous and didn't think. Because, uh, let's be honest, if you guys were up in front of a crowd of people and you're on national television, so you're probably going to have some butterflies, you're going to be nervous, you're not going to think as straight, and let's just face the facts, you're not going to perform as well as if you were in front of your computer screen or a TV. Name an animal with three letters in his name. Frog. Something found in the refrigerator. Milk. A brand of gasoline. Regular. Something that comes with a summer storm. Snow. A sport with an all-star game. Uh. Turn around. You may never be up here again. Let's take a look. I don't believe it. Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said <laughs> frog. Our survey said zero. Two people would have to say that. Our survey said... I got good news and bad news. <clears throat> Give me the bad news first. The bad news is you need 172 points to win the money. Oh. The good news is you're the man to do it. Name an animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. Some... Well, name an animal with three letters in its name. You said alligator. Our survey said... You don't use, uh, you don't use narcotics, do you, Bob? No, but I I mean, I, th I thought frog was bad. <laughs> And finally, in the number one spot, we started off this list with a TV show called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And I decided, why not end with it as well? Because this clip is just absolutely too perfect. But this lady, she got a question about daylight and time and all that kind of stuff. It was just like your basic time and math problem. It's the type of stuff that you get in elementary school, at least I got. And she just has absolutely no clue. Like, I'm not even sure if she knew how to even go at it. So she just decided that she was going to go ahead and give a guess on it. And it was obviously wrong. But I think it's safe to say out of all the clips in this video, this is probably one of the biggest face palms there is. How much daylight is there on a day when the sunrise is at 7.14 a.m. and the sunset is at 5.11 p.m.? Nine hours, three minutes. Eight hours, 37 minutes. Nine hours, 57 minutes. Eight hours, seven minutes. I'm going to choose. I probably should take a lifeline because I'm totally, because I didn't want math or time. I'm like crazy here, but I'm going to 
take a chance and I'm going to go. Yes. A final. Oh, Jimmy, I'm so sorry. It was not the mind was right. It was oh, nine hours, no. 57 minutes. I got my thousand. You sure did. You had a great experience in New York. Thank there you, you go. Very those are the clips that I have for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like in the video. Let's try to break 7,500 likes. That would be insanely awesome. I really appreciate that, you guys. Also, make sure to comment down below and tell me which one of these you thought was the worst, which one was the dumbest, and which one was the biggest facepalm. Anyways, though, onto the fact that I hit a million subscribers last night. It was pretty fucking epic. I watched the thing switch over from 999,999 to 1 million. I, I got another digit onto the sub count. I just wanted to say thank you to you guys, because this is something we all did. You know, you guys watch my videos. I know this is just a usual fucking uh, uh, YouTuber fucking spiel, but... Uh, you know, I've been working for this for about five years, almost five years. I, cause, uh, I know you're going to sit there and say, Drink Gravy, we've only had this channel for like a, a year and a half. Well, I used to have another channel called FC Glitching. It was a, a game channel uh, where I did glitches and stuff like that. So I've been on YouTube for quite a long time, and this channel kind of took off earlier in the year. And I can't thank you guys enough for it. It's been an awesome ride so far, and I plan on staying on the roller coaster for a while longer. And you see, right right there, what I just said, that's why I don't do speeches, stuff like this, because I, I just end up saying stupid, cringy-ass shit that nobody wants to hear. Now we're all fucking uncomfortable, but you know that FC Glitching channel that I was talking about? I'm thinking about doing gameplay videos on that, so definitely don't go sub to that. And also, make sure to comment down below and tell me what I should do for a 1 million subscribers special. I'm thinking about doing a video for it, so if you got a suggestion, because I, I can't think of things because I'm an unoriginal piece of shit, Go ahead and tell me what I should do. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for a million subscribers. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Chabang, bitches.